Hi guys, this is Ronald and today I want to show you guys another FFmpeg trick. So in this trick we'll actually uh, combine two videos just using uh, FFmpeg. So it's always good to have a practical example, so here's a practical, ex practical example. So here is um, two videos I basically downloaded uh, from the internet. These are some, these are basically some old, um, it's an old review of Avatar from 2009. So uh, this was, this was released during a time where you couldn't actually have more than 10 minutes on YouTube. So hence, um, hence the, there's these, these two reviews have been split into two parts. So I, I want to put this into my personal archive and I'll, I'll, I'll prefer it to have one video file for both, for both, um, for, for both parts. So what we'll actually do is um, use FFmpeg to do that. Now, uh, I, I can always just drag it into a video editor, just stitch the two clips together in a timeline and export it. But the thing with that approach is um, I do need to use a video editor and, it, and the video editor will re-encode the videos. So uh, <clears throat> using FFmpeg, we can actually do this with, with uh, one command line instruction and FFmpeg can actually keep the encoding. So if we check out here, we can see that uh, YouTube has or YouTube has already done the encoding, and YouTube has YouTube has done a pretty job, pretty good job compressing it. So we want to keep that. So all right, so that that's why we're going to do this with FFmpeg. So um, there's two ways we can uh, we can try this. So for the first method, we will need to actually make a text file. So we'll say videos.txt, open this up. And um, you can put comments in this file if you want. So you can say videos.txt or say we can, we can say something like uh, avatar 2009 review. Doesn't matter what we put in that. And now you have to put something, you have to put here file and then uh, put in a just put a single quote or you can put a double quote doesn't matter too much now just you need to copy the full name of this file and file and copy the full name including the extension again so yeah basically um you, you keep adding videos you keep adding the you keep adding the videos uh, and you you do need to respect that syntax file space and then new line. So we'll save that. If you have a lot of files, you might need to you might need to generate a script. But since we're only working with two, it's we can get away with with doing that manually. So okay, so all right, we'll uh, just we'll put this one to the side. And all right, I have some notes here. I'll, I'll just get rid of those. So this is our ffmpeg command. So ffmpeg dash f concat dash i videos dot text dash c copy and we'll say avatar underscore view dot mp4 so this is the command we'll use, we'll actually put into our, our command line to combine the videos. So as an explanation, this dash F concat, this basically is telling F FFmpeg to use concat mode. Concat is kind of just a fancy way of saying combining things. Dash I is, um, is the input file. So uh, the input file we're supplying is actually this videos.txt file. This um, this video doc text file contains the file paths of all the of all the videos we want to combine together, so we don't actually have to directly provide that that information to the ffmpeg command. Dash c that's codec, and we're going to say copy. So uh, yeah, essentially we're going to copy the codec codec information. So it's the exact it's exactly the same, which should make things make things faster and also means that we we keep that existing codec and uh, the final thing here is avatar review which is just the name of the output file 
Now, just before we pop this into the command line, uh, the, you don't necessarily have to put copy here. So, uh, so let's say if you wanted to change, if you um, if you were familiar with what what codec you want to use, you could say put uh, lib to x4, and uh, you could um, and then you could you could essentially re-encode the videos while you're combining them. But we'll we'll just stick with the copy for now. All right, so we'll, we'll access the command line. Um, so uh, there's a lot of ways to, act to get the command line. Um, I just, I, uh, I like this approach. You go on the file path, just put CMD. And you'll notice the command line has already taken us to this folder, which contains our video files. Okay, so copy this. And if you want to paste it in the Windows command line, just right click and press enter. All right, and yeah, it's already done it. So we were working with small files and it wasn't re-encoding. So yeah, it did not take long at all. So if we have a look here, uh, we'll see, we can see that this this um, part one is nine, is uh, about 10 minutes. Part two is eight minutes. So the final output is 18 minutes and 18 minutes and 18 seconds. So, all right. So yeah, it's, so we can see that this is um, part one coming in. If we go to around 9.56, we should see. Okay. There we go, continued in part two. And there we go, it just shows, shows part two. And that's all combined in one video. Now, uh, just before we finish, there is another method you can use. Uh, so, what you can try is ffmpeg dash i <clears throat> and then you need to put uh, double quotes here it's concat and then you need to put the file path here and then you need to put a pipe character and then you need to put a file path there Oh, sorry, excuse me. And then you close quotes. And then you specify the codec again. We'll do copy. And um, we'll do a name. So we'll just uh, call this test.mp4. All right. So this is this is another approach you can use. Uh, now I'll I'll show you why uh, why the first approach is probably better. Okay. So uh, it did do the job. It did it like it didn't show us any errors or anything. But if we have a look here, it's only covered part one. So uh, yeah, it's only covered part one. So it hasn't really worked properly. This is because um, this method uh, this method uses sort of a different way of combining videos. And it only works on certain files. So if you're trying to copy like ts.ts video files, it's going to work just fine. But um, but uh, if for for example MP4, it's not going to work out so well. So yeah, it's um, so yeah, so this 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 approach is probably the first. I'd, I'd, I'd advise trying this approach out first. Um, yeah, okay. And one once another one other thing to mention is uh, now normally you don't have the video files in sort of like this. So you might say, you might have it sort of like this, avatar part one, <clears throat> avatar part two. So uh, FFmpeg sometimes doesn't like the spaces, as I will demonstrate in just a moment. Okay, all right. So what we'll do is, okay, we'll try the, uh, we'll try this command again, and you'll you'll see the, how the results change. So it says unsafe file name avatar part one. So basically, basically what it's saying is it doesn't like the spaces. So what you can do is you can you can certainly rename the video files, but if you don't want to do that, then uh, 
what you can do is before you make sure you do this before the you specify the I you have to say safe zero which basically means ignore unsafe file names so it's um, yeah asking if we want to overwrite that file because we did it before and we'll say yes and okay yeah so we have an identical file but yeah we basically have an identical file here cool all right all right so yeah that's the basics on how to combine a file combine two video files with ffmpeg i hope you found that video useful and um yeah if you want more tech tutorials um you can always subscribe for more videos have a good day everyone bye